We lost touch with him early, but I don't remember after that. Okay, so I called him based on information from Philippines. I called him instead of me being happy to have found him. Asalamat chakan ako. Thank you for finding me, Anna. You found me, Anna. And I, man, I'm surprised why he acted that way. So that was something sometime in September. And then we talk a lot of times after that. Every time we talk, I get emotional. I'm becoming more emotional. And that's my leftover tissue. Every time I talk to him. And he has a lot to say. And I think, uh, sorry guys, but among us, he went through more than what we did, I think. And so um, I saved him for last because he has a lot to say. Roland Suha. You know, you, can, you cannot follow Luis Bonna. So, um, real quickly here, it's, 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 I feel like I'm home. You are. Yeah. It, it's, uh, uh, and, and there's a lot to, uh, that I have to say about, uh, feeling at home with you guys. It was more, one of the most solemn mass I've attended in a long time. I mean, I, 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 it, it, gave, it brought me back to Don Bosco. Uh, how, we, how we sang. We sang every day. We sang every song. So, so through the years, through the years, um, my wife Maribel, 41 years. So she's, uh, she's from she's from Saint Scholastica, batch seventy. All right. So malambat ini malambat ati lang ating reunion. But that's why when when you called me, I was searching. You know, all of us want to be part of the community, right? And this is my community. Sabi na pin misis ko, sabi na na ako. Sabina, once in a while I will say something smart, right? Through the 41 years. Sabina, 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 ba?
We pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and we keep going. This is why we are here today. Because of that same Dr. Ephemero. You stay in the fight, eventually you will win. Right? And, you know, 57, 56, whatever your ages are, we won. We are winners here, guys. Winners. that makes you feel proud and make you feel at home. I am so, I can't express to you, I was about ready to cry today at mass. It, the emotions just overcame me. I was I, I can't, because I finally, finally came home. So, um, let me see, God. I, my mind is racing right now. I wanna say a lot of things. See, in the outfit, at Shoke State School. Manipat niyan first grade kami, kindergarten. So I've known a lot of you guys through the years. Maybe we haven't seen one another physically, but we were all connected in one way. That's why when we see one another, it's like no time has passed. Right? Malapit ang nakumbabu, itama ni Kamani. So let me ha I have a little trivia question for you guys. Okay. Um, you heard what Mar said, right? He said something about um, compiling all the names. And one year, two years. I don't know if you noticed this, guys, in your annual or pictures. I was there. This is a dubious honor, actually. This is actually... So, so uh, I was there fifth grade. And then I was gone. Then I was there again freshman year. And then I was gone. What do you think happened to me?
So in about, shortly after I got here, I started working. Started working for a department store. And then, that was in 79, I think 82, and if you correct me if I'm wrong here, Mom, uh, my wife came. So now, and then the kids came shortly after. So again, he was not the only responsibility. So not like, ah. There was one time, because we all grew up in private schools, right? So, private schools, So, there was a span of two years with my wife working full time as well. I was working three jobs. So, two years straight, seven days a week, just to send them to private schools, which is part of our value, our value system. We want the, our parents want the best for us, and we want the best for our kids. So, you do that. So, it, so the, just to fast forward it, the kids are now out of the house. They're all doing their own lives, and knock on wood, everybody's doing well. So, um, and we're actually now experiencing the, the, uh, the fruit of the labor, if you will. Started. You know, the kids are gone and we start to have our time. We ride tandem bikes together, we travel, blah, blah, blah. But again, it's, it's the, the common theme is this, guys. Is that we all were raised well, our values are the same, and we've stuck. We've stuck to the values of what St. John Bosco has given us. Doctor et Emerico. That is what I took after my freshman year, and I've never forgotten it. In my office, I have this, I wrote it down myself, it's been there for years. Everything, every time things go poorly or badly for me, I look at that. So, um, in closing, I want to share with you guys, I just read, I finished reading a book. It's called uh, Into the Wild. I don't know if you picked this up. But, uh, we're now in our, Mid to upper 50s, correct? So, so uh, there is a search for happiness, isn't there? Right? There's a search for happiness, all of us. And uh, this passage by Tolstoy actually summarizes to me. You can you can gauge yourself where you are. But I think at this age, at this stage of our lives, I think we have come to this. It's a very simple formula. Tall stories goes. Uh, it passes. <laughs> Guys, this one really, really uh, brings the bacon home. It says, I have lived through much, and now I think I have found what is needed for happiness. And this is obviously, this is all uh, subjective, right? It says here, a quiet, secluded life in the country. That has to be anywhere. With the possibility of being useful to people to whom it is easy to do good. Right? Like you guys. I mean, uh, I love doing some stuff for you. You're my family. You're my community. And who are not accustomed to have it done to them? Then, work which one hopes may be of some use, something, a, a, a very, uh, a very challenging work, something that satisfies you, something that gives you that little push to move on. You need my focus. Then rest, says nature. At our age now, we need as much, you know, we need to rest as often. We will walk for an hour we go home and we sleep for an hour. You know, so you need that rest. Nature, books. I highly suggest books. Music, love of one's neighbor. Such is my idea of happiness. And then, which we are all lucky, some of us are lucky. And then, on top of all that, you for a mate. My soulmate over there. person that will mean something to you that will carry you through the rest of your life. 
you find that and you hang on to them. You hang on to them because you don't see them often. And then children, perhaps. Right? If you have children, that's a plus. And then Tolstoy ends it with, what more can the heart of a man desire? Nothing else, right? So there. So, again, folks, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough from the deepest, deepest part of my heart about this opportunity to be part of the community of Bosconians. I feel so proud to be here. And uh, Mario, Maddie, uh, Jojo Bacani, Milo Cavarles, and everybody who's done such a tremendous job in putting this together. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, classmates.